Okay, folks, so this is another rapture dream. Um, the importance of this rapture dream if, is it was post-rapture. Um, an effeminate man or a homosexual man was standing there, and he had not been taken. And he had known Jesus Christ was coming in the clouds. So he was looking up, and it was sad. He was looking up, and he was saying, why didn't God take take me. Uh, he promised to take me. And he had a little bit of an attitude about it. But um, the basic fact is, I want to give you a couple verses in the Bible. So Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 in the King James says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, idolaters, nor adulterers, effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. And then again in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, King James, But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters, idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So, um... That's basically why, and, and so were many of us, or we had sinned in some way, and we, brothers and sisters, we repent of sin. That's what being reborn is. Uh, the Holy Spirit lives inside us and convicts us of sin, and uh, by Jesus' blood we become holy. So uh, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, but that didn't give a go to sin, but if you have sin, re please repent. And all homosexuals and effeminates and uh, people that are transgender, transsexual, do all these abominable acts, um, it is wrong. And you do not go up in the rapture. You need to repent. And also, uh, there's a suicidal spirit that comes over um, those people who do those things. So pray the holy blood of Jesus Christ over yourself and and allow the spirit-filled Christians to put hands on you and cast these demonic spirits out. This is an actual spirit that comes in you. Even if you have felt this way since childhood, or you have maybe felt this way your whole life, those spirits can enter you at a young age or, or even possibly in the womb. So cast them out in the holy blood of Jesus and know he will change you and become born again. I pray over this and I pray for you, brothers and sisters, to just be strong. Thank you.